Okay, we're going to switch now to CBS 2's Ian Lee, also live in Tel Aviv tonight with more on the children caught in the crossfire. Ian. Oh, hi, Maurice and Christine. Yeah, hundreds of kids have been killed in the fighting in Gaza. And the, the coastal strip has over a million of them, and most of them have only known war their entire lives. And tonight, many of them, if not all of them, are sleep, going to sleep not knowing what the future has in store. With war all around them, these young Palestinians are still managing to play like children when they're in the park. You can see rubble nearly everywhere you go. 13-year-old Omran says he and his friends are fully aware of what is consuming their lives. Planes above could bomb at any moment. It's unsafe. It, it's not fair that this is happening. It shouldn't be happening. Children make up almost half of Gaza's population, and many were living in poverty before this conflict. Now they're waiting in long lines for food and water, some living in tents at makeshift shelters. And hundreds are among the dead and wounded, many from Israeli airstrikes. Here in Israel, residents living along the border with Gaza are evacuating their homes in fear of Hamas. We leave the road because of the situation is very dangerous here. Raya Schwartz and her children are boarding a bus for a safer part of the country. Their town of Sterot was once specifically targeted during the initial attack and has since been hit with rocket strikes. For other Israeli families, life is at a standstill with loved ones held hostage. I ask Hamas, which is holding my family, I hope again in good health, please stop and the Israeli government to please stop and just bring the women and children back. Israel's military says Hamas has nearly 200 hostages. And some of those hostages in Gaza are children. Hamas has threatened to kill them if Israel continues to strike uh, targets they say have civilians in them. And with this ground invasion that we heard from Charlie, uh, one of the main objectives is to try to free those people. Maurice Christine. Lee tonight in Tel Aviv. Thank you so much.